Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a review on Rock Candy Airbrush Foundation. And so um, I, will, I will be doing a talk over probably so that this doesn't take forever. And I just wanna say hello and welcome to my new subscribers. Thanks so much. I hope you're enjoying the channel. And um, yeah, let's get started. So let me just start off by telling you about them. Um, somebody recommended them to me um, and they predominantly create airbrush foundation. They have mainly foundation colors. Um, I believe they had two bronzers, two illuminators and some um, blushes, two blushes. And they don't have colors, um, but that's okay. So I was looking for a new foundation, um, looking at different textures. I was feeling like my Matt, I like to use matte because I do a lot of photography and I can't have a lot of shine in the images with the type of style of photography that I do. And one of the hardest things to take out is too much shimmer if it's already there. So I prefer to use matte foundations. I also wear airbrush foundation every day for myself. And the reason why is it gives great coverage and for a while there I had problems with discoloration and acne and so it gave me a really flawless look nobody even knew and so I love that and also it kept up my airbrush skills by doing it every day so I do not wear liquid foundations at all I have one backup one in case my guns break down but I went and purchased a third gun I have three guns now so there is no <laughs> anyway so back to rock candy um, they're out of California and I ordered the 4K Master Collection, which has like all the range of foundation colors. And I have a matte set and a satin set. So I can mix both or use one or the other, regardless of what finish you like. Today I'll be using the matte. And I initially purchased two colors and the brown ended up being a little too dark for me, but I always purchase a light as well to use as my highlight. So I just mix them and that works. But now that I have the whole collection, I'll be doing another video where I find a matching color and go through that. Um, I also have purchased their Just Blush, which is quite pretty. Um, but today I'm gonna to be using the Dusty Rose, which is, a, I'm hoping, a softer shade. Um, I, I find airbrush blush tricky. I don't love the colors I get. I like more pinks and oranges and more true to. I find a lot of them and all the browns are very brown. And so we'll be playing with that. And I also don't like it super wide. Like, you know, you understand, you do makeup. So anyway, back to rock candy. So um, they have these gorgeous little stickers that they send. Um, and a lot of them. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, probably on my kit. All these cute little airbrush stickers, which I thought was really sweet. A little card all about them with their social media stuff. Of course, your receipt. Oh, it comes in this gorgeous folder. Why is everything falling now that I'm doing this? Um, which I thought was really beautiful packaging and marketing, and I love beautiful packaging. And marketing, um, I work as a graphic designer as well as being a makeup artist and photographer, and that's why I do really composited portraits. Um, but it all ties together because it's all about quality and line and color and, and, and creating things that attract people and I love that. So I appreciate their marketing. I thought that was gorgeous. Um, and they also have these cute little bags that my, I ordered more foundation and then I ordered the whole collection. I'm like, whatever. They sent me a beautiful discount so I had to get the whole thing because I was like, better jump on it while you can. Um, anyway, so they have these cute little bags as well. And they, of course, because it's called Rock Candy, they gave me Rock Candy suckers in all the shipments. And then in my large shipment, I got a hat. My husband took it. He's wearing that, so that's great. Somebody's using it, so that's beautiful. Anyway, back to the video. So we're going to use these three colors as the base. And um, I'm just going to spray it on, so we will speed that up. 
Hey guys, so I'm just going in and I'm going to add some concealer. As you can see, I had some discoloration, some acne marks on the chin. And so I'm going in with an NYX palette using the color orange just to color correct. And then I'm using the NW25 MAC concealer just because it's a little heavier. I find they do really well and I can even get away with wearing those alone without even putting airbrush. But they these two products work really well with the airbrush makeup and I wanted to test them out with Rock Candies foundation. And so far they were great. So I'm just gonna go in and smooth everything out. So I didn't wanna make a super long video, so that's why I made everything a little bit faster and sparse so that you didn't have to listen to me babble. But uh, excuse that crazy eyelash while I'm at it here and the crazy hair, I just finished a walk. So I'm using the color olive and the color cream out of the Rock Candy collection. It's a matte foundation that also comes in satin. Um, and I, they're water-based, so I was able to use it with my Dynair One gun. And I just purchased a new gun. I love those guns. Um, they're very easy to use and cordless, so it's rechargeable. But um, I wouldn't recommend mixing your foundations with a lot of guns unless you understand uh, water-based and silicone-based. Like, for example, a lot of the Temp2 foundations are silicone-based. I would not run that through this gun. Um, it could wreck it, and I don't really want to try and, and destroy it. So um, if you want to do it, go for it. And uh, so I'm just going in. I like to mix two colors. I found the olive was a bit too dark for me, and the cream was too light, but I like getting two colors I can mix, so I can use one as a contour, one as a darker, etc. cetera, um, just in case, like, you know, I wasn't sure about the foundation. And fortunately, I got the whole collection, and now I'll probably do a video where I color match and get one exact to my skin tone. But if you do makeup, you know it's nice to have a highlight and to also have a darker one just to create depth in the face. So I found the foundation really beautiful. So even though it's matte, it has a light sheen in it. And I'd love to say that it was me, but it's not. As you can see, uh, my skin's just healing from some breakouts. Um, yeah, and the foundation really helped. I mean, it, it was great coverage. Uh, you can spray a little bit more for editorial, and I talk about that, but um, this is, I think, really beautiful for everyday wear. It had a nice sheen to it. It was very lightweight. Um, it wasn't cakey, and I found that it lasted all day, so I like that it didn't break up around my mouth, especially that's my dry area. So um, I'm just going in a little closer, just trying to get some of that discoloration out. And as you can see, I, I, I don't go crazy on my forehead. I just really wanted to show you how this foundation um, was like and do a little review on the product because I think it's actually quite good. So this would be great for wedding and everyday wear. You can layer it up and use it for editorial. Um, I do like my other mattes and I like a heavier matte for myself because it covers so much. I think even if you have aging skin, it helps hide the light and shadow in those crevices if it's done right. And w combined with my gun, um, it's just the softest touch to, you know, add it in. Now I'm going in and I'm using their blush. They had two blushes, Dusty Rose and Just Blush. I'm using Dusty Rose and this one went on really nice. Um, I just had a little trouble. I had to uh, unclog it with a pin. And as you can see there, it's a very soft pink. I loved it. I thought it was really nice. I almost like it better than Just Blush. Um, I think this can be worn on a lot of different skin tones and you can build it. Now I went a little too wide there, so I'm gonna go in with some lighter, the lighter shade of cream, this is 04 in the matte, and I'm just gonna soften that blush out. You have to excuse my look today. I went walking and so my hair, my eyelash are all wonky. Um, but God, I looked good out there. <laughs> anyway, um, let's fix that up for you. Um, this foundation, um, I found a nice texture to it, and so I recommend that you try it. They are having a sale, I believe if you go on their site, rockcandy.com or Rock Candy or Rush, I'll put the link down below. But I purchased all my own um, foundations, and I went for it and got the whole collection. I, th I just thought it was that good. And... Uh, Sometimes you have to take a chance, and I do these reviews because there isn't a lot of reviews out there on the product where people are talking and telling you about it and how it works. So I hope this is helpful for you. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, button subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out and allows me to do these videos. All my work is vintage inspired, but I love using modern tools and techniques. Airbrush is one great example. I think it's something that anyone can master and do every day, and you get such a great finish, and if you have a problem skin, 
Um, it actually can cover really well, better than a liquid foundation. And on top of that, for photography, just the speed and the quality is amazing. So I highly recommend airbrush makeup in general. And if you have questions, leave them down below regarding equipment or different types of brands, foundations. I haven't tried everything, but I've tried a few. I'm not a millionaire, so I can't buy everyone's gun. People don't uh, send me all their stuff. Some people have sent me like, uh, Tickle Pink has been great with sending me. I love their skincare. Um, they have an aloe based foundation, so it's very different. So I've just gone in with a little bit of black. I ran the blush through the top of my lid. Sorry, a little messy today. Um, but I really just wanted to talk about the foundation versus doing like this amazing full face. Um, I'm adding in a little liquid liner just to blend in with that airbrush. This is my quick go to uh, pin up eye, and it works for me. And uh, if you don't like it, that's fine. Don't watch it. But I like to wing out the ends of my liner. I, for my eye shape, it works really well. Yeah, I'm gonna go in and fix that lash. I know, it was driving me nuts. Uh, half on, half off. So this is just a fun way to do a kind of exaggerated airbrush makeup look. And it works for me and I love it. I like a fuller eye. And I found the blush just spread really nice into the crease and over the lid. Um, it just blended really pretty. It was a nice little color and I love using uh, multiple tools or should I say one tool for multiple jobs. So I'm just going to go in and seal those lashes so they're not so distracting. I'm using a L'Oreal uh, mascara. It's very good. I do have one eye that's a little wonky than the other and you know that's life. We don't have a perfect symmetrical face. If you do, you're one of the blessed ones. So amen. But um, yes, uh, back to the foundation. So I just did this mini kind of full face um, just to show you uh, the texture and hopefully it's coming across on camera. I'm using a little of the NARS setting powder just to tap in. I love this silky powder, it's great. I do found the foundation a little dewy even though it's matte. So I use the powder just kind of to, to get some of that dewy feeling out. Um, it is lightweight on the skin, but in comparison to my like Dynair matte, it's definitely a little more dewier, but that's what probably what is giving it um, a different type of finish. So it's matte, but it's fre very fresh looking. And don't get me wrong, I love my Dynair mattes too. They are uh, very good for covering acne and discoloration. It's a little bit of a drier or a more solid texture. Um, and I don't have to use much of it to layer. But uh, with the rock candy, I love the freshness of this. So it's just two really great foundations for two different you know, purposes. And sometimes you just want a fresher look for the summer when it's hot out. So, um, you know, and with that brand Dynair, you can add in their dewy uh, drops. But, and I only add in, in in certain spots. What I loved about this foundation is that it was just one stop. I could just add it in and I had a natural sheen on my highlights and my bones and the parts of the face that you need it. Yep, going in and going to clean that lipstick up. I got this gorgeous orange red lipstick, um, quite the standout from MAC. It's a long wear and I just love it. And I'm really into orange red lately. It's matching the nails. So I'm just going to go in. You can go in with your concealer. It won't wreck the airbrush foundation at all. So I liked that. And I went in and just tapped a couple places where I had a little extra makeup. And yeah, I mean, I thought the quality of it was really good and that, uh, Sorry, my lip is crooked too. It's just one of those days. But um, <laughs> really, it's this video is all about the foundation. So um, I hope that gives you an insight into how it works. But I'm gonna stop now and I'm gonna go back to talking about it so I can give you a little more information. My pink. But it looked really soft on and I found that it was perfect. I felt like the Just Blush is beautiful too, but it's got more orange in it maybe. Um, for different looks, it'll work. But um, for an everyday, this would be my everyday. Um, I think that it was really beautiful and I used it in the eye and then I just used another brand, a little black on the corners because I like my my little pinup eyes. Um, yeah, so I would say it's worth trying and I think their formula is really good. Uh, I love that it's water-based, it's cruelty-free, vegan, and they have great marketing and packaging, which I think is great. I think it's gorgeous. So I definitely think they're worth trying out, and I think this would be a great makeup for all you uh, airbrush wedding artists. Um, yeah, and like I said, I could see myself using this in editorial. I'd probably go a little heavier, just so it's super flawless. Um, but obviously, we all do that with all makeup when you're doing pictures. So. Um, 
but overall it's gorgeous. I love it. Yeah, I definitely love it. it was, I'm definitely happy I got the 4K Master Collection and I got a great discount on it. And I think it's still on sale right now. Um, the owner, I think it was the owner who sent me the discount. Somebody sent it to me and I was just like, thank you as a artist. You know, I have all new equipment, all new lights. I'm doing the videos, I've got lights for these, and then all new makeup. And then now I'm doing, I'm getting back into doing my vintage hairstyling courses. And it's good to just keep up on all this stuff and new products and techniques. It just, even if you're just a makeup enthusiast, it's fun. But uh, I also do it on people. And then, you know, it's what's more fun is it can do it on you. So I definitely recommend this for daily wear. Definitely, it's beautiful and soft, and I could see this working well in warm weather um, because it's getting hotter out where I'm at. And for mats, sometimes mats feel heavy and chalky, but they can be so perfect and beautiful on a clean palette. And like I have aging skin and discoloration and acne, so I find it just like it uh, fills in the light and shadow crevices, but it's smooth. So I can't say enough about this foundation. I think it's great. I think you should try it. I'll put a link down below so you can check them out. Um, and like I said, this video was not sponsored. I purchased my own 4K Master Collection kit that I'm hoping to use for all my shoots, as well as all my other products. So I don't wanna diss any of my other companies, um, but I needed something that I could also do that was more natural. So I'm, it's hard to explain, I'm visual. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you can see the quality of the makeup. It's always tricky on camera. So I'll be taking a couple pictures and putting it on the thumbnail. And if you have questions, uh, just leave them below. And I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, click the thumbs up, it really helps me out. And hit the like button and give a comment. Um, subscribe to my channel. That's it, thanks so much for joining me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, bye.